Hello, my good people from South Africa and the world. Here is your latest news about Julius Celo Malema. Julius Celo Malema dressed limp up ground forces yesterday, where he showed his courage and determination on the 2024 general election. Malema reminded his supporters on the importance of land in their lives and why they should fight back for their land, okay, from the white settlers. Malema went ahead, to, uh, went ahead saying that the minority white settlers have become more richer than they used to be during the times of apartheid. And uh, for your quick review, the Limpopo ground was actually filled to its depth by the EFF supporters chanting and singing freedom songs to remind themselves of the history. They praised Malema for his brave and stand for the economic freedom fighting for the people of South Africa. Now, if you're watching us for the first time, guys, uh, please hit on the subscri subscription button below. And uh, to our subscribers, thanks for your continuous support, guys. I'm very, very much, much happy. And I really love you guys for the great support that you're showing unto this African. Please just continue watching our videos. And if possible, share to m as many people as you can. Let's dive in these videos of Malema and guys. Not forget to subscribe. I love you so much. View the ground forces of the EFF because without you, this internationalist victory will never have been possible. We went to Parliament and we said to Parliament, we must remove the embassy of Israel and overwhelming majority of our people in parliament voted in support of the EFF that the embassy of Israel must be closed. That embassy must be closed until there is a permanent ceasefire in Israel because we cannot harbor murderers and people who are committing genocide and people who want to wipe off the earth as particular ethnic group. What is happening in Israel and Palestine is not a holy war. It's an ethnic war where someone has taken a decision to get rid of a particular ethnic group. Therefore, the question should be, what would have happened to the people of Palestine if there was no EFF in South Africa? Because it is the EFF that has led to South African government to take the posture it has taken because of the pressure that was put by the EFF. Without the EFF, majority of our people will not have known that they are people being killed in Gaza and they are being killed by Israel. This Israel we are speaking about is not the one in Bible. This is the one that is driven by the devil because no Bible encourages ethnic cleansing of other ethnic groups. So fighters, you play an important role not only in South Africa but internationally. And the international community has come to accept and celebrate South Africa for its progressive internationalism because the EFF puts that necessary pressure. <laughs> Fighters, we are here today because we are preparing for the national and provincial elections and this election is going to be the most important election in the life of South Africa since 1994 and this election has got potential of ushering in every little opportunity that was missed in 1994 and when a person says to you, the ANC is going to win elections in 2024, you must start recommending 
a psychiatric hospital for such a person because no single normal person can say the ANC is going to win elections next year. The EFF will be government here in Limpopo, will be government in Gauteng, will be government in KwaZulu Natal, will be government in Pumalanga, will be government in Northwest and all over South Africa. And that is what we are fighting for. We are not fighting to lose. We are fighting to become number one. And number one we shall become, whether they like it or not. Or not. <laughs> Comrades, when we started this organization 10 years ago, we made it very clear that this is a protest movement that will always associate with every progressive protest in communities. We said we are a government in waiting and others went to make jokes about it that we will be a government in waiting forever because we will never be government. Yet we are government now in Igurulini, in Johannesburg, in Nelson Mandela, in Morali City, in Etequil. So in less than 10 years we had already realized the dream of becoming a government in future. So that which we said at that time that we are government in waiting, it has come to pass because we have passed that test where they said you will never be government. We are the most progressive and the most service delivery driven government of all the municipalities where we've got MMCs. Comrades, the political discourse and politics in general in South Africa are interesting and exciting because of the EFF. That no one had interest in politics and no one wanted to hear what politicians have to say. They didn't care until the EFF was born. Only after the EFF went into Parliament did people know that Parliament has got a television channel called 408. They never knew before there was EFF that there is a channel where you can watch watch and hold your executives and your parliamentarians accountable. No one wanted to talk about the land in South Africa before the EFF. No one will talk about the land. It was a taboo to talk about the land. You were told that you are actually going to scare investors if you talk about the land. That you've got a potential of collapsing the South African economy if you talk about the land. Until the EFF came and said everything starts with the land and everything ends with the land. When you are born, you are born into the land. That is the beginning. When you die, you are buried. Without the land, you won't be buried. Without the land, you won't be born. No one can be born in the air. That's why we said we can talk everything else. As long as there is no land question on the table, we are wasting time. So we need the land to address every problem you have. If you've got a headache now, it's not a headache, it's a problem of the land that causes the headache you are experiencing now. When we give you the land, everything gets resolved. Le fasi le botlo kwa because le na le tatseba wuri. When you don't have the land, bar mo tuto ko feji kamo ai. When na unaga di back roomu kamo ai nu. Bar bi di che family. Bar na outlaw meeting. Oto bolelo akafeneral. 
wena wa ona ka mo back room barlinana o re ka bolokaneng wena le back room o bule molom o re kenana o re mmea ka la botlhano o thoma ke bo mawa o thome ke ni wana ba ngo khomole batho ba bolele ngo khomole ka hore a ona le fase therefore your opinion matters not mara uta sister wao wa ona mukuku nga jujuveli lwena ona mukuku nga backyard ola ona mukuku jujuveli o a tsena ba roma wena hore a le di metsi ka why they know you come from your land ona le jarata Therefore you must be respected because unali jarata that's how important the land is Au ri ya bolla ba ana motsa di Jesu useless So for us to have our dignity restored we must return the land into the hands of the african people who are being undermined because they are propertyless without property there is no dignity hence patris motsepe rich as he is if he goes past a group of white racist boys at night they will beat him up why because he's a black person auna ntwaka idea ana property you won't do anything ebari auna ntoka idea they mean you can't even take them to court with what because for you to go to the lawyers the lawyers say put the guarantee for the money that will be paid at the end of this case you can't put any money because you have no land ba matter because patris motsep ba mo shapela is a black person because to all of them black people are the same have got no property therefore they are not worth respecting until someone says eh eh ke patris motsepe meaning is a different black this one he's not like the rest of them so that's why patris motsepe must join the struggle for the land to be returned even when he's got the land because if he's got the land alone they will not respect him he needs to take all of us along then he will be respected so when we fight for the land we fight for the respect and the dignity of black people relwela sriti sa hore le tlompiwe mo le tsamayang wona ba tsebe hore lena le salena salena ke nge ke lefase that's why we will be the most hated people because we want you not to be treated like monkeys because you are not monkeys and anyone who says you are not monkeys is an enemy of those who see you as monkeys or monna every time i speak these people understand my message very well leave the noises they are making they know what i mean i mean that they must share a table with a monkey that's what they are hearing that we can wake up one morning and sit on the table as equals with a monkey what is this guy saying it's not going to happen that this guy is a problem and then they start bringing all types of problems against this guy because this that you must be on the same table as white people must be suppressed no one must say le fase kerena and without le fase we are nothing 
program monna wa le tawa kwa sikukuni a itswa modirong a nna ka ra mokhuku o sna le fence ya fence mara e gorile ngwenya ya tsiba re la ka le bala le bua mo le jiga so o bona e fita e teka teka o ka re tlowa a e fita mo jarateng ya no bona e ke balance ere ere ke ka 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 ya what a bolele le motho wa ke tebo wa yena self wa ke fila gore ke na le motse ke ka ka imagine all of you have got pieces of land a le tsamaya le tsamama eta a le godimo why le na le ka lena you've got a piece of land you've got a place to call home Bari baswa abasarata politiki. They are no longer interested in politics. But when the EFF came to be and became a player in the politics of South Africa, young people came back to politics and said, "This is the future, and we want to associate with this future as young people." Arebulele maaka. The convener just read a report here. How the level of the institutions of Aleni, the leader Kau Felajo, na the leader ki EFF, the TUT, your Nayela Barleli, Luzije, Alai Luza, keba etapele balle na barobeji on duty and did not do what was supposed to happen at TUT. The TUT of Polokwa. Belongs to the EFF. But that the amba, but but that the cheta yuang isanga la gobo na la vitala like a babaj. Why lose the TUT? Because the very ka yualo ka mopo. Eh? The very ka yualo ka mopo. But yualo walu iwa teflop. Roba ka tef. You all go to teflop. La toa la TUT, you all go to la vita la wina teflio. Ele sarli a celebrate a lebe tamato. Ele re papa ra bar TUT za mai. La rejoin. Le za mai le gamu rofe. Gamu kana le na la shala na morao. La se divide ane. Because when you are a leader, you are an all-rounder. You must do all of these things at the same time. A leader can wear the the ochtlapur rebereka teflu. No, rebereka everything at the same time. So leadership should know that we are an all-rounders. Abar kreke nka sonta ama motar molo o sa sa ke tjatjila kreke ba re ba swantse ba re kre yona mo e ba re tsha ile ka kreke ba re yalo pleasure wa di beta me ropa ka sino ba re kre yona mo a o na mo ba sa tshwanela o re kre ya we are all rounders we do everything at the same time we don't concentrate on one subject by the time we realize we have lost another subject because that's how monkeys work di tshweni di bere ka bushaidi ga mpe di tsena ka ra chimo tsa yo utswa mabele tsa tsia wana tsa re tlaf tsa bia ka tsa tsia bobedi tsa bia ka mo le khwafeng tsa tshara so ya gape ya bia ka le khwafe e bia hela yawa we cannot be like that ar patagile re patagile ar tsenya ngwe re pataga ona ka mowe that's what leaders should do and therefore when you have lost tut it doesn't mean does not go and service those students because SRC as the arena. We must actually service them double so that in the next election they know that this is the organization we have been waiting for. Comrades, for 30 years we were subjected to mediocrity. 
for 30 years were excluded from the economy and the social life her social life kore mo nyoko ya ngona man eh o nyoko ya varamba tabare bona le metsi ya ufisha ngolodo thobolla mmele le varamba we couldn't go for 30 years we can't go because we have got no means to meet those social standards because things that you want to do you must do them as in when you feel like not because the political and the economic system is designed in such a way that even your desires as a person can be met engineers you couldn't go because the system is designed in such a way that you ought to be excluded for 30 years we couldn't be what we wanted to be joblessness there are no jobs for 30 years when ramaphosa came in the joblessness worsened the unemployment went high the homeless became even more so crime is too high who would have thought in our lifetime there could be crime in vendor because my vendor are bolunga gamanda man bolunga steric they are not uh, people of crime but the most dangerous crime in Limpopo is being committed in Venda. Barona Lidi Lobargidi Jerusalem. Cash in transit by better daylight shine demon. Midday 12 o'clock. No one can do anything. Who would have ever thought that one day Venda can become one of the top 10 Toyando police station top 10 jack crime vendor becomes an epicenter of rape who would have thought of that if this thing is reached vendor then lebala ka se shego le boa khomo khapane fedin that place was the most peaceful place. And no coffee is sound, coffee is a stereo. And then, because it's too hot, the road robber like a monte, the sat to a lama faster, the robber la most too poor. Because it was a peaceful place. The ANC came, Yayo, Yayo, Bodi Shavenda. It's rotten to the core. So a person dies, Maloba Nyanamo, Kena Lebo Motu, Putoko Falamo Indian Center in town, 11 a.m. Lebo comes to see me at 10 p.m. at night. The person has been lying there dead in town, not in a village, Indian Center, in town from 11 a.m. until 10 p.m. at night when we started making calls or what are you doing guys what is this no one cares for 30 years if a person can collapse in town ambulances come certify the person dead forensic must come camera person must come take pictures then the government mutuary come fetch this person go the government mutuary is five minutes away from that person who died can you imagine the person who dies in blueberg those families are going to be forced to sleep with a dead body 
while they are still trying to find a neighbor with a car who's in, who's who's got courage enough una me just to say asi shemo swanji seo for 30 years that has been our life no one cares for 30 years the inequality the gap has widened the rich have become more richer the poor have become more poorer and when i say the rich have become more richer you are thinking of another black person this is fred from africa welcome to our youtube channel please subscribe comment and share for many more african stories culture slavery food lifestyle and many more and thank you for stopping by to learn more about africa our motherland and the mother of the world whites have become more rich in south africa than they were during apartheid lo khwale lengwe la re le dia joke le nna la re wa tseba thank you very much bilo re ntwe is going to work like this would have given it to you guys in 1976 so that children don't die okay what do you mean i don't know we making more money now than we were making money at that time this democracy of 30 years has benefited the oppressor more than the oppressed and it's not me the numbers are there for you to see stats is there for you to see the economy is not growing and creating jobs why the white people are the ones who have money they have kept their money in the bank they are not releasing it they are not reinvesting it in south africa that's why this economy will never grow that's why there will not be jobs because for jobs to be there the money that is in the bank a lot of it must come out to come and build factories so that we get jobs they are not interested because they don't trust this black government leave the fact that the ANC is corrupt they don't trust black people that's why they must keep their money in cash so that if you turn against them they just press transfer and then they are out of this country they can't carry a fake tree that's why they can't invest in factories they have no confidence in our government comrades in limpopo corruption ege pile matla mo kore if you are not part of the inner circle ya corruption ya anc you will never get an opportunity bo buy scope o ilwa go ba re motho ke buy scope buy scope because politicians. So, Reswane Chiori, Reluan Chebumini, Chalebu Kodu, Bobby Bengona, Molim Popo, and Arluan Chabumini, Chalebu Kodu, Bobby Bengona, Molim Popo, by Tapilibar Navaska Requa, Barreca, Kiba to buy ANC, Babareca, Kadisente. Leaders must always speak truth and speak truth to power because if the powers that be are not told the truth they will never know that they are wrong we need to stand up and say we need functional hospitals in limpopo renyakadi kliniki di budi we 24 hours o be le ma security au gada equipment le ma nurse le di doctor tshe di be mo because are lwa le motse a re fela rola le bushe 
So, Hani vya le panka di manipulate rent as a result of the manipulation of the rent a lot of our brothers and sisters who were climbing the ladder into the middle class have lost their houses have lost their cars have lost every little thing they got through loans because of the manipulation of the rent marabatwa bautswangi chelete through manipulation of the rent abatswariwi ibila re batsebi if bakari godrich gadi got a tender of 2 million in polokwane Bailo Muncha, his face. This is Fred from Africa. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, comment, and share for many more African stories, culture, slavery, food, lifestyle, and many more. And thank you for stopping by to learn more about Africa, our motherland, and the mother to the world.